What is up, hockey fans? I'm your host, Nathan Spees, and welcome to another mascot tier list. Since my parents are currently at a hockey game, I thought why not I do my own hockey-themed thing. And by that, I mean ranking all 32 of the NHL mascots. And yes, I know not all the teams have a mascot, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So if you for some reason don't know what a tier list is, it's basically a kind of modern way of ranking things. You rank them from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And you can pretty much rank anything. In this case, it will be NHL mascots. You may remember back in February, I did a similar video where I ranked all the mascots for the NFL. And while I got some backlash, it did incredibly well, so I figured it was time for a sequel. In case you haven't seen that video, I will put a link to it in the description for you to check out after this video. I will be using the same criteria for that tier list for this one. I will be ranking them mostly off of costume design, but antics and impacts on communities or mascots as a whole will also be considered when ranking these characters. I will also be going in alphabetical order just to make things easier. And I should also clarify, these are my opinions. If you disagree or you agree on something that I disagree or agree with, put it in the comments. Please don't get too mad at me if I give your favorite mascot or team a low ranking in this video. It's all just for fun. Anyways, with all that out of the way, here's Nathan's NHL mascot tier list. Alright, so first up is Wild Wing, the mascot of the Anaheim Ducks. And we're starting off strong because I'm going to put him in S tier. I really like this guy's design. It's so badass, like it looks really cool with the hockey mask and how it, it looks like a duck. I mean, he is a duck, but like how the hockey mask is duck shaped. It looks so cool. Also, he caught himself on fire once, but luckily he was okay after that. You gotta give props to a mascot that can survive being on fire. Also, Wild Wing is technically a Disney character. After all, where do you think Disney got the Mighty Ducks from? He even had his own Saturday morning cartoon in the 90s. So yeah, overall, Wild Wing is a really awesome mascot, and he's going in S tier. Next up, we have Howler from the Arizona Coyotes. I'm gonna put this guy in uh, D tier, just cause... I don't know, there's something about him that looks really weird, like, his face just looks a little too cartoony. Like, he doesn't even really look like a, like a coyote. When I think of a coyote, I think of, like, Wiley Coyote, or even the Spurs Coyote. This guy just kind of looks like a bat. He looks like a very cutesy-fied vampire bat. But, eh, not really, don't, I don't really like his design that much, in terms of the face. Rust is okay, it's just the face that I have issues with. With that being said, he is not F tier because he's really good at the drums. And I like the drums, so I'm going to put him in D tier. Next up we have Blades, from the Boston Bruins. This guy is going in A tier. For the longest time I always wondered what the name Bruins means, but apparently in English folklore, Bruin means brown bear, so it makes sense why their mascot is a brown bear. And his design is very solid, although it is pretty basic in terms of some of the other mascots we'll see later in this list. But yeah, he's really cool. His name was actually given by a kid. So, you know, that's something to take into consideration. And yeah, he's really funny. He's really cool. He's kind of scary looking, but he's not that bad. Uh, he, he's a very solid mascot. I really do like him. Next up, we have the Buffalo Sabres mascot. Now you would think it would be a buffalo since the team is from Buffalo, New York. But no, it's actually a Sabretooth tiger. And his name is Sabretooth. Yeah, this is Sabretooth from the Buffalo Sabres. I'm going to put him in B tier. He's a very solid mascot, I'll give him that. I really like tigers, I love the tiger stripe pattern. Yes, I know Sabretooth cats weren't actually related to tigers. But hey, he's a cartoon character, you can take creative liberties like that. I also heard he does really cool stunts, like, um, he repels from the arena and he rides around on an ATV. And yeah, it does make sense with the team name because they are called the Sabres. So, why not have a Sabretooth as the mascot? You know what I mean? Next up we have Harvey the Hound, the mascot of the Calgary Flames. Now, Harvey is actually the oldest and the first official team mascot in the NHL. 
being created back in 1983. Now I know there were some mascots that came before him, but Harvey is more like the first official modern mascot in the NHL, if that makes any sense. Anyway, Harvey's going in A tier. I really do like this guy. He's really cool. It makes sense for the team. I mean, you know, when you think of uh, fire stations and firefighters, you always think of a dog. Although he's not a Dalmatian, like you would think. He's actually a husky. And that's because huskies are cold weather dogs. You know, they like the cold. They are often seen around snow and ice. So that does make sense. Also, that video of him getting his tongue ripped out by the Oilers coach is really funny. Surprised nobody got in trouble for that, but it's okay. He got his revenge in the end, though. However, with that being said, even though he is the first one, I can't really put him in S tier just because he's kind of creepy. Like, his face looks a little unsettling. Now, I know he is the oldest one, and he is kind of the first mascot, but... I mean, you could do a little better than what he has right now. I mean, it's mostly just the eyes that I have issues with. Everything else is perfectly passable, but those eyes just look... Oh, they look a little creepy. Other than that, he's a really awesome mascot. I really do like Harvey, so I'm going to put him in A tier. Next up, we have Stormy from the Carolina Hurricanes. I'm going to put Stormy in C tier. So I've always wondered why their mascot was a pig even though the team is called the Hurricanes? Like, what does a pig have to do with hurricanes? Well, it turns out the reason why he's a pig is because North Carolina has a lot of pig farms and hog farms, and they're also known for vinegar-based pork barbecue. So, with that logic, it does make sense why Stormy is a pig. And also, when the team was first created, they were originally going to be named the Ice Hogs. However, they changed their name to the Hurricanes. But Stormy as a whole, he's a pretty good mascot. I really do like his design. He's very creative. The only issue that I have is his eyes. Like, his eyes just seem a little too big. It's almost like he's staring into my soul. With that being said, Stormy is a decent mascot. Next up, we have Tommy Hawk, the mascot of the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm putting Tommy in S tier. I mean, this hawk is insane. Have you seen that video where he fought a drunk fan? Like, put Tommy in the WWE. But in all seriousness, Tommy is a really creative and funny mascot. I mean, and Tommy's name is a play on the word Tomahawk. So, with that, that's pretty funny. That's a nice little clever pun. And also, even though his current design looks a little weird, it is way better than his old design. I'll give you that. That design looked creepy. He's also one of the few NHL mascots that's in the Mascot Hall of Fame. Probably because of his fighting skills. But anyway, that's something that's noteworthy to mention. A Hall of Fame mascot. Next up, we have Bernie from the Colorado Avalanche. I'm going to put Bernie in D tier. There's just something about him that's really creepy. Maybe it's because he looks really realistic. He's supposed to be a St. Bernard. And uh, he just looks a little too realistic. He's got kind of an uncanny look. And I don't really know what a St. Bernard has to do with avalanche like do, do saint bernards live near avalanches are they from places that have avalanches like i don't really get it also i do like their older mascot better who was howler the yeti yetis are much cooler than dogs in my opinion he's not the worst mascot but not really that good either next up we have stinger from the columbus blue jackets i'm also going to put stinger in d tier I don't know, there's just something about him. He has a really weird and kind of unsettling face. He kind of looks like if Kermit the Frog had the FNAF movie Red Eyes. Like, he just looks so unsettling. He looks evil, even though he's not evil. Also, you're probably wondering why is he green? Because he's supposed to be a yellow jacket, even though the team is called the Blue Jackets. Well, the reason is because he was originally yellow, but then he fused himself with the blue jackets colors and when you mix blue and yellow you get green so that's why he's green ah oh, that just kind of sounds a little dumb in my opinion like you could have made him blue make him blue you know a actually you know what you could do you could make him red white and blue just like the blue jackets colors that would look really cool so yeah he's not really my favorite mascot 
It's an interesting mascot choice, but it could have been a little better. Next up, we have Victor E. Green, the mascot of the Dallas Stars. So the last time I ranked a Dallas mascot very low, I got a lot of backlash, so I'm going to be nice this time, and I'm going to rank him at C tier. Now, let me address the elephant in the room. This guy definitely looks like a ripoff of the Philly Fanatic. That's basically what he is. He is a ripoff of the Philly Fanatic, even down to the green coloring. I was originally going to dock points for that, but I actually learned about why he's green and why the mascot is Victory Green. So it turns out the reason why his name is Victor E. Green is because that's the team's color. The team's color is actually called Victory Green. There's also a rumor he's named after the founder coach of the Stars, whose name was Norman Green. So that kind of makes a little sense, but he's still a Philly fanatic copycat. Let's face it. I mean, come on. Come on. He looks exactly like him. But yeah, I'll be nice this time and I'll give him a C tier ranking. Next up, we have the Detroit Red Wings mascot, Al the Octopus. Now, Al is an interesting choice because unlike the other NHL mascots, which are people in costumes, Al is actually a statue. He's not a costumed character. And now you're probably wondering why a team like the Red Wings would have a mascot that's an octopus. Well, it's because there was this tradition where... Fans throw dead, sometimes alive octopi onto the ice during playoffs. And while it's frowned upon by the league, they still do it. Nobody really cares. It, like, I'm pretty sure it happens almost every single game. I don't know how the heck you would get an octopus into an arena, but hey, I don't live in Detroit. Another reason why their mascot is an octopus is because back then, you had to get eight wins to win the Stanley Cup. And octopi have eight legs. But then they changed it to 16, so they had two owl statues. So the mascot choice is pretty cool. However, I'm only ranking costumed mascots, not statues. You have to be a costumed character to be ranked on this list. So for that, I'm so sorry, Red Wings. He's an F tier. If you guys had a costumed version of Al, he would have been ranked much higher. Next up, we have Hunter from the Edmonton Oilers. Hunter's going straight into A tier. I love this mascot. Hunter is such an awesome mascot. He's a lynx, something that you don't really see with mascots these days. Now, when he was first introduced, he was a little controversial because a lot of people thought he was too scary looking. And that's just because he looks really realistic compared to the other mascots. And that's mostly because they modeled him after a real lynx, since this mascot was actually made in a collaboration with the Edmonton Valley Zoo. They actually had multiple different mascot choices for the Edmonton Oilers, and they had several Edmonton school children vote on which mascot should be the team's mascot. And Hunter ended up winning. But yeah, I really like Hunter. I love my cat mascots. He looks almost exactly like my cat Theo. So that's why he's getting a high ranking. He's one of my favorite mascots in the NHL, if I'm going to be honest. Also, his name is actually, um, has two meanings. One, his name is Hunter because Lynx is Hunt. And number two, he's actually named after the team founder, Bill Hunter. Anyways, that's enough about Hunter. I really like this guy. He's going in A tier. Not quite S, but very, very close, like an A++. Next up is Stanley C. Panther from the Florida Panthers. I'm going to put Stanley in B tier just because he's a he has a very basic design. And I'm not blaming Stanley for that just because real Florida Panthers, also known as mountain lions and pumas or cougars, whatever you want to call them, they're very basic looking exotic cats. So I'm not blaming Stanley for that. Also, his name is based off of the Stanley Cup. Stanley C, Stanley Cup, Panther. They also have a secondary mascot, which is Victor E. Rat, but I'm not going to rank him just because we're only doing primary mascots, not secondary mascots. But yeah, Stanley is very, very funny. He's very entertaining too. So, even though his design is kind of generic looking and a little basic, I'm still going to give him a high B. Next up, we have Chance from the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Chance is going straight up into S tier. 
He is also one of my favorite NHL mascots. He is supposed to be a Gila monster, which is a giant poisonous lizard that can be found around Nevada, in the Nevada deserts, near Las Vegas. So it's a mascot that perfectly represents the, the, the state and the city. And it's a very unique choice. You don't really see too many lizard mascots in pro sports, or even in colleges. And also, he's just really funny and really awesome. I love this guy so much. I also like how he has, um, he almost looks like he has glitter on his back. Like on the back of his head and on his tail, he kind of has glitter. Looks really cool. So yeah, Chance is definitely going in S tier. He's one of my favorites. Next up, we have another one of my favorites, Bailey from the Los Angeles Kings. He is also going in S tier. Bailey is a lion, which makes sense because the team is called the Kings and lions represent royalty. Also, Bailey has a really awesome story as to um, why his name is Bailey. So it turns out Bailey is actually named after King's director of pro scouting, Garnet Bailey, who unfortunately passed away during the September 11th attacks in 2001. So Bailey is kind of a tribute to him, which is really nice and really awesome. I love that they did that. However, I almost didn't put him in S tier just because I'm not really a big fan of his current design. I like his older design much better where he looked a little meaner. He looks a little too happy now. Although it is a lot better than the design that came before it where he had that weird hairstyle. I don't really like that one at all. Anyway, Bailey's awesome. He's very funny, very entertaining, S tier. Next up we have Nordy, the mascot of the Minnesota Wild. I'm gonna put him in C tier just because, what the hell is this thing? Okay, I actually kinda know what he is, but like, I also don't know what he is because that's kind of the Minnesota Wilds thing. Like he's based off of the Minnesota Wilds logo and nobody really knows what the logo is supposed to be. I've heard people say he's like a bear pig man hybrid. But I've also heard people say that he might be like a puma, or a fox, or a beaver. So he's basically a hybrid, which is a really cool concept for a mascot. Although it could have been a little better. It's still not bad, it's not bad by any means. But there's just a little room for improvement. So yeah, Nordy is a very solid mascot, really cool concept. Could use a little bit of work, but still really cool. Next up we have from the Montreal Canadiens, Yuppie. Yuppie is going straight into S tier, and here's why. Yuppie was actually part of the MLB's Montreal Expos team. However, in 2004, the team moved from Montreal to Washington DC and became the Nationals. So Yuppie didn't have a team anymore, so they decided to have him be the mascot for the Canadiens hockey team. He's the only mascot in major sports to actually switch sports from baseball to hockey. Not only that, Yuppie is not only in the Mascot Hall of Fame, but he's actually in the Baseball Hall of Fame as well. And finally, the reason why I think Yuppie is S tier, he's just funny and hilarious, and he's also very classic. So that's why he's going in S tier. Next up we have G Nash, or Nash, from the Nashville Predators. I'm gonna put Nash in A tier. So remember when I said earlier that my parents were at a hockey game? Well, they actually went to Nashville to see the Seattle Kraken go against the Nashville Predators. But anyway, back to G Nash. His name isn't actually G Nash, it's actually Nash. The G is silent. So he has a G in front of his name, but it's actually silent. Instead of G Nash, it's Nash. And there's actually a really cool story behind Nash. He's not just based off the logo, but... Apparently, when they were building the UBS Tower in downtown Nashville, archaeologists found partial remains of a saber-toothed cat skeleton. So as an homage to that, that's why the Nashville Predators logo and mascot is a saber tooth. Nash also does a lot of really cool stunts, and he, he just looks cool in general. Like, he has such an awesome design. And also, he's really funny. I especially like that time he started throwing pies at people, and then when he was told off from doing it, he still did it anyway. Absolutely hilarious. A tier for Nash. Next up we have the New Jersey Devils mascot, NJ Devil. He is also going in the A tier. I mean, NJ Devil isn't really a creative name, but what else are you going to name a Devil mascot? 
He looks like a really old school cartoon character, like a Warner Brothers character. He kind of has that 1950s look. Or maybe even Cuphead. He kind of looks like the Cuphead Devil a little bit. Not really, though. NJ Devil also starred in his very own Sports Center commercial. Not to mention that one viral video where he was at a kid's birthday party and he ended up breaking the glass in the window. I wonder if he had to pay for that. But yeah, I really do like NJ Devil. He's a really cool mascot, very creative. And yeah, he's eight here. Next up, we have Sparky, the dragon from the New York Islanders. I'm going to put Sparky in B tier. Now, Sparky actually has a pretty big history attached to his name and his character. So, strap in. This is going to be kind of long. Sparky was originally the mascot for the indoor football team, the New York Dragons. However, that team went defunct. So, they decided to make Sparky the mascot of the New York Islanders. In 2015, Sparky was fired by the Islanders. But after some backlash, as well as some declining ticket sales, they brought him back the same year. There's not really much to Sparky. He's just a dragon. He is one of the better looking dragon mascots, though. But for some reason, he went from red to black to blue. Maybe he's part chameleon. I don't know. I also noticed his tail is actually shaped like a hockey stick. I always wondered why it looked like that. I was like, why does he have a cat tail? But it's actually a hockey stick tail. So that's pretty creative. So yeah, B tier for Sparky. Next up, we have the New York Rangers. Now, the New York Rangers are actually the only team in the NHL that doesn't have a mascot. Not counting the Red Wings, that one's a statue. So you know what that means. No mascot, F tier. Next up, we have Spartacat, the mascot of the Ottawa Senators. I'm going to put him in D tier just because, well, look at him. He's kind of ugly. He's supposed to be a lion, but like, uh, I don't know. He doesn't really look like a lion to me. When I think of a lion, I think of like Bailey, who we talked about earlier. This guy just kind of looks like a, he looks like a where the wild things are character. Either that or he kind of looks like a homeless person or he looks like someone you would see in an, in an asylum or on the side of a building. Like, ah, he just looks a little off to me. Now, it does make sense as to why he's a lion, because, you know, the Senators, Spartans, they played in the Coliseum and they fought lions. I don't know. I failed history class. I don't know anything about that. All I know is that lions were in the Coliseum and they're part of Roman culture. But another thing keeping him out of F tier is that he has really cool acrobatics, from what I heard. So, yeah, Spartacat is a D tier. Not the worst mascot, but... Not really that good either. Next up we have the man, the myth, the legend, Gritty from the Philadelphia Flyers. S tier. No explanation needed. Gritty is amazing. He's absolutely hilarious. One of the most hilarious mascots. One of the most hilarious entertainers ever. Gritty is literally God. What started as a mascot that everybody hated ended up becoming an internet meme and a pop culture icon. Gritty is God. Gritty is God tier. He's not just S tier. He's God tier. So yeah, not much else to say. It's Gritty, S tier. Next up, we have another iconic mascot, Iceberg from the Pittsburgh Penguins. I'm going to put him in S tier just because he's a classic. A far cry from Steely McBeam, but... That's a positive in my book. Iceberg is a very classic NHL mascot. He's very beloved. He's supposed to be a king penguin, even though he looks a little weird. But he does have that orange thing on his neck, which makes him a king penguin. One reason I put Iceberg in S tier is because he's actually a movie star. He appeared in the 1995 movie Sudden Death, where he beat the absolute crap out of John claude Van Damme. Like, my God, he beat the absolute crap out of him. Like, seriously, I was talking about Tommy Hawk beating up someone. Iceberg needs to be in the WWE. Just put all the bird mascots in the WWE. Anyways, another cool fact I learned about Iceberg is that he has a twin brother named Tux, who is the mascot of the Scranton Penguins, which is the AHL team and the affiliate of the Pittsburgh Penguins. But yeah, other than that, Iceberg is an S tier. Next, we have S.J. Sharky from the San Jose Sharks. Sharky is going in S tier. 
Now you're probably thinking, how the hell is this guy an S tier mascot? Well, let me explain. First of all, Sharky is really funny and he's really entertaining. And also he was able to remain calm after being stranded at the top of the arena for 20 minutes while the national anthem and pregame lineups were announced. So you gotta give him props for that. Also, he's one of the most iconic and recognizable mascots in the NHL. He may even be one of the most iconic and recognizable sports mascots, period. Like, whenever somebody thinks of NHL mascots, they might usually think of SJ Sharky. And also, he's one of the better looking fish mascots. Fish are really hard to translate into mascots because they don't have arms and legs. So, sometimes you get results that look really bad, but in Sharky's case, it actually looks pretty good. Also, I like how he's able to chomp a little bit. His mouth is movable, so he's able to chomp. So yeah, I really do like Sharky. He's really entertaining, really cool. And yeah. Oh boy, next up we have my family's favorite team, the Seattle Kraken, with their mascot, the new kid on the block, Bowie the Sea Troll. Now, I've got some stuff to mention about Bowie here. When Bowie was first introduced... I didn't really like him at all, and most Seattle Kraken fans didn't like him either. Some people said he was the worst mascot in the NHL, other people were saying he was the worst mascot in all of sports, though I think that was a little too far. I think one of the reasons a lot of people hated Bowie when he was first introduced is because, while the team is called the Kraken, you would expect their mascot to be a Kraken, you know, or like a squid. Kind of like this drawing I did before they announced a mascot. However, they said they were not going to make their mascot a Kraken because nobody knows what a Kraken looks like, so you can't really make a mascot based off of that. Although I'm kind of calling that BS because, I mean, if you don't know what the Kraken looks like, why not make your own version of what you think a Kraken looks like? Also, they said they didn't want to make him an octopus because, well, the Detroit Red Wings already have one even though it's just a statue. But nonetheless, Bowie is a sea troll. He's actually based off of the Fremont Troll, which is a statue under a bridge in downtown Seattle. He's actually supposed to be his nephew. But after all the hate died down, I really started to really like Bowie. He's grown on me a lot. I like how he has a squeaky nose and how he can actually remove his teeth, which is kind of weird, but makes sense for hockey. And it also makes sense for a troll. You know, trolls are kind of, uh, gross. But yeah, I do like Bowie now, so I'm actually gonna put him in B tier. B for Bowie. Go Kraken. Next up we have Louie. Not Louie the Cardinal Bird. Louie the Bear from the St. Louis Blues. I'm gonna put Louie in B tier as well. Now Louie here is a very good mascot. I don't really have anything to, um, critique about him. He's a very good mascot looks really cool. I like the coloring. I like the helmet. He's actually supposed to be a polar bear, but a lot of people think he's a dog. He's even got the nickname Victory Dog by Blues fans. But yeah, I don't really have much to say on Louie. He's a very solid mascot, so that's why he's going in B tier. Next up, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning's mascot, Thunderbug. I'm going to put Thunderbug in C tier. I really don't have much to say on him. He's kind of generic, but also not really that generic. I mean, he is a bug. I think he's supposed to be a firefly. I, I don't know what kind of bug he is. Maybe he's a bee, but like, I, I don't know what kind of bug he is, but he is a very creative choice for a mascot. You would think a team named the lightning would choose something else for a mascot as opposed to a bug, but it is a nice choice. Although it would have been really cool is if he had lights on him since he's supposed to be a lightning bug, I think, or a firefly. But, he's kind of a generic mascot. Not bad, but like, not my favorite. Next up we have Carlton from the Toronto Maple Leaves. I'm gonna put Carlton in C tier. He's another polar bear, just like Louie. However, his design is a lot more generic and kind of basic. Like, he's a very bland mascot. That's not really a bad thing, but, I mean, there's not really much to him. He is a really good dancer, though, I'll give him that. Also, the story of how he got his name is actually kind of cool. So, the first home for the Toronto Maple Leafs was the Maple Leaf Gardens, which was located on 60 Carlton Street. So his name comes from Carlton Street. Really cool name for the mascot. 
kind of harpens back to their history. But nonetheless, I'm going to put him in C tier just because he's a little generic looking. He's like a very cutesy polar bear stuffed animal that you would find in a, in a store. Next up, we have Finn from the Vancouver Canucks. I'm going to put Finn in A tier. Finn is supposed to be a killer whale or an orca, which makes total sense because the logo also has an orca attached to the C. So you got some nice correlation between the mascot and the logo which is always appreciated. I also learned he's able to shoot steam from his blowhole on the top of his head, and he's also able to chomp people, which is pretty cool. The only reason why he's not in S tier is just because he looks a little creepy. Not really too creepy, but just a little bit. He is also one of the better looking fish type mascots. So yeah, Finn's a pretty good mascot. He's also one of my favorites. Even though he is a little, he's a little unsettling. He's an A tier mascot, but he's a very high A tier mascot. Next up, we have the United States of America's mascot, Slapshot from the Washington Capitals. I'm also going to put him in A tier. This is one of my favorite looking eagle mascots ever. He's not as good as Swoop from the Philadelphia Eagles, but he's pretty close. I really like his design. I like how he incorporates the red, white, and blue. I also like how his tail has stars on it. That looks really cool. Yeah, he's just such an awesome looking mascot. I really do like this guy a lot. And you know, it does make sense even though it's kind of the go-to mascot for Washington DC, you know, an eagle, but I'm not complaining. Now we have come to our final mascot on the NHL mascot tier list. It is of course the Winnipeg Jets mascot, Mickey Moose. Now, Mickey is not spelled M-I-C-K-E-Y. It's actually spelled M-I-C-K-E, Moose. Think like Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, Mickey Moose. But anyways, I'm going to put Mickey Moose in C tier. Just because he's kind of bland, but also, like, not at the same time. I still think the Mariner's Moose is a little better than Mickey Moose, but... I mean, he's a fine mascot nonetheless. He's actually a mascot that does double duty, because not only is he the mascot of the Winnipeg Jets, but he's also the mascot of the AHL team, the Manitoba Moose. Now, I've never been to Canada, so I don't know how many moose are in Winnipeg, but I do know that Manitoba has a ton of moose, which is why Mickey Moose is the mascot of that team. So yeah. He's not really my favorite, but he's far from the worst mascot in the league. It's just that he's a little scary with his creepy grin, you know? He's got a, he's, his smile is too big, if you know what I mean. But nonetheless, he's a perfectly fine regional mascot, so I'm going to put him in C tier. And that's my NHL tier list, guys. What do you guys think of this? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below which NHL mascot is your favorite. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned as I will also be doing tier lists for both the MLB and the NBA mascots in 2024. Bye bye!